Hi, I'm Eva from Budget Dutchy. Welcome back to my channel. This is the video I was going to make, uh, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before. Um, and I uh, have the time now, so I'll make this video now. In 2018, I'm um, going to do my self-employment updates uh, in YNAB as well. Um, for now, uh, this year, last year I used to uh, use my bookkeeping software, but that made it, made it kind of difficult to explain what the different costs were and what exactly my um, um, my different money streams were. So that's why I'm going to do that in YNAB. And one of the nice things about YNAB is that I don't have to make another account. I can make a different budget within YNAB itself. And this is my personal um, budget and I can make a new budget. And I'm going to name that self-employment. And I use euros and uh, here in the Netherlands it is a uh, comma um, after um, between the, the numbers and the um, cents. And I like the uh, this one. The year, the month, and then the date. And I will make a budget. And then you have the, the standard categories that YNAB supplies for you. And um, I don't need those um, for um, for me, for the, my business. So I'm just going to delete all of them. And I will make uh, three category groups. Uh, one is results, and the other one is overhead, and the first one is direct costs. Within results, I have um, sales tax, and I will put that in last, and that is because um, the last one you put in, it will be on top of uh, the category. And so I will work from the bottom um, to the top. Overhead, I have internet, transport. And the um, order I am putting this in is uh, the same as in my bookkeeping uh, software I use. Um, so it's not alphabetically or anything. It's just uh, the way my bookkeeping orders it so that it is easier for me to follow. Literature and software. And my study. Office supplies. And my studio. Uh, as most of you will know, I teach sewing. Um, so I split out the office supplies and things like uh, my laptop, but also printer paper and ink and things like that. And my studio supplies is things like sewing machines and rulers and pencils and um, uh, pattern paper and all the things I need for the sewing part of my business. And then the administration. Direct costs are um, inventory. 
um, I have a little bit of inventory that I sell to my students um, and I need to keep track of that, how much I uh, spend on that. Um, in YNAP you don't have a category income. Uh, all that is categorized in to be budgeted. And when I put uh, in the transactions, then I will, from the payee, I will have teaching, sales, commission, and order. Um, and that way I can split out in reports what, um, what the different income streams are. I don't have to put that in, in my budget itself. For the accounts, I will need an, um, a checking account. And I should be able to give a manu manual um, uh, account. I don't like to uh, connect this in the Netherlands here. We can't. And even if I could, I don't like to. I like to type in my transactions because that is for me another um, it's another time I have to check what I am spending, and I like to uh, to be um, confronted with that. Today's balance I will leave for for now for zero. Uh, on the 31st of December, I will uh, put in. Um, the, the today's balance and then I will start budgeting in YNAP for my self-employment in uh, 2018 in January. Savings account and that is done and then you will see that I have here two checking account and a saving account and then in the 31st I can uh, edit this number to the 31st of December and then um, make this um, an inflow of, for example, 100. Uh, and then you will see that I have in my budget, I have, I'm going to have, if I had saved this, so the 31st and 100. And if I had saved that, then I should be having a balance. And why don't I have a balance yet? Why doesn't it? I will, I, I have to check this out later. I'm a bit tired now and I just can't figure it out. I will check that later and I will make uh, another video explaining what I did wrong. And I'm pretty sure it's me that did, that did something wrong. Um, if I go to January, I will start making goals uh, for my budget lines. And uh, I like to have monthly funding goals. And for direct costs, I'm going to budget 20. And for administration, I'm going to budget monthly 30. For studio supplies, I'm going to do a monthly funding goal of uh, 65. And I have a little notepad here um, where I can check with uh, how much I'm going to be budgeting each month. For my study, I am budgeting 100 each month. For software, I'm budgeting 20.
literature, literature. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to budget uh, 10 a month. And did I make this a monthly funding goal? Yes. Insurances, I'm going to budget 20 a month for shipping. I don't need much, so I'm going to budget 5 each month. Advertising, I'm going to budget 20 each month. And that is one that I, uh, if I do Google AdWords, I spend about 50 a month, but I don't use Google AdWords each month. So that's why I only budget each month 20. And then when I use it, I can just use uh, how much that is in the sinking fund. For transport, I budget 30 each month. And internet, I'm going to budget 15 each month. And uh, internet is um, for now a personal expense, kind of. It's 26 a month, and then half of that I can uh, pull out of my business. Um, sales tax, I'm going to budget zero for now. Um, and that's because um, there is a limit. Um, if you stay under that, you don't have to pay sales tax. And I'm going to be staying under that at least in 2018. Um, and um, I will show that in a bit why I will budget my income tax and my salary. 50% uh, each and not too much and if I make more profit um, I will spend more in these categories and I will not be paying myself a larger salary and that is because I get um, a disability payment and if I open a spreadsheet I made for myself Yep, um, if I will look if I can make this a bit clearer. For now, I am in this level. I get um, um, the maximum disability payment. And there are maximums of how much you can um, get out of your business and then go to a lower level. And... Um, if I earn 20% of the minimum wage, um, which is 315 euros and 60 cents um, before taxes each month, um, if I earn more than that, I will be put in this category, in this level. And um, I calculated that if I and in the maximum amount of this number, I will earn about 90% um, of minimum wage. If I transfer to the next uh, level, if I just a bit over the 315, I will lose a most, the most, um, the highest amount of my income, my total income. And um, now in 2017, this, person, this number is uh, 75%. And if I, I already am going to be receiving less income in 2018, and if I um, be just above this number, um, I can't make ends meet. So I'm going to be very careful to be sticking just below this number so that I... Um, get the most out of my uh, small business as possible. And I'm going to try in a couple of years to jump from this number to this number. Um, I don't think that's going to work completely. I, will, I think that I'm going to be going to more towards this number at first. Um, but I will have to um, calculate that when the time comes. Um, but for 2018, my goal is to be below just just below this number, high within um, this range from up until 300 euros each month 
that I can pull out of my business. And then 50% 50, 50 of that is going to be income tax. I will call it income tax and 50% of that is salary. And that is because I get disability payment, but I also get um, rent subsidy. And that is calculated based on your income. And so my disability payment in 2018 is going to be lower. And my rent subsidy, I will, I will have to be, uh, will have to pay back a bit of this. Um, so it's not the, not the whole 50% is taxes. Um, part of it is part of, part of this is saving up for uh, what I have, uh, what I'm going to have to be be paying back for rent subsidy. Um, I. I'm quite sure I'm not really clear as of yet. I'm going to be making a video on Sunday talking a bit more about all the changes um, that are going to be in 2018 for me and, and the lower disability payments and rent subsidy and uh, small income out of my business is part of that. Um, that video is coming in on, on Sunday. Um, so I'm... I only have a, a couple of um, categories I'm going to be tracking for my self-employment. But this way it's going to be a little bit more uh, visible and followable, followable, clearer to follow. Um, so I hope you will follow me in the next year uh, as well in my personal budget as in my self-employment budget. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thank you for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.